Good day, people of YouTube. It has been quite a while since you last viewed my face on your screen, probably. But since you guys have been with me through a lot, thick and thin, I thought I would vlog my first jump back in months and months and months. And this is it. Here we go. So today I'm travelling about half an hour away to Inchcoonan's Equestrian to have a jumping lesson with David Harland. Um, I've only booked in for a wee half hour because I don't want to do a lot, especially since she hasn't jumped or used those muscles in the past like six months. Um, so I just kind of want to ease into it and stay small and just have a little chill lesson and try not overthink it. but knowing me I have been overthinking it a lot Um this is so weird me and Claire have literally swapped places she is like so confident and doing absolutely amazing right now and I just feel like a big bag of tatties and like I don't know what I'm doing I'm just very very nervous because we didn't leave off very well Um and yeah, I just feel like I'll get on and not know what to do. I mean, I've been schooling away and she's been working away pretty well. Um, and I would say that's her fitness back up now, almost to where we were at before. Um, so I can't use that as an excuse. I think she will obviously get tired quite quickly because uh, we've not actually been jumping in a long time. However, we're just gonna go and give it a go. <sighs> So I'd be lying if I said I was in an amazing frame of mind for today. I've been worrying myself sick. Genuinely, like, really, really worrying myself. Um, I just feel like I'm a big disappointment <laughs> to myself. <laughs> because I've got Blondie and she is the most amazing pony in the whole world. Like, literally, how many times have I said it? She is a one in a million incredible pony. Like, she has got a heart of gold, she's so brave, um, especially for her size. She's just taken me places I never ever thought I would have gotten. Um, and I just feel like I need to go right back to basics for her and for myself so that I don't overthink anything and rush into it and, what's the word? I don't want to put any pressure on ourselves. Um, so I'm just gonna go and try and have fun even though I'm so scared. I've never been this scared before. I've never been this scared to ride Blondie before. Um, before Blondie with Casper, I, I was always nervous, um, but I never had any expectations from him. But because Blondie's been so amazing, I just, I want, I've always wanted her to like do it for me and for me to just close my eyes and then over time I just got bags of confidence and we were just amazing together um but yeah now I need to hold her hand she hopefully she helps me out a little bit with my nerves and yeah hopefully we make it through and I am smiling at the end because I've not been smiling today I luckily was working this morning so that took my mind off of things but as soon as I finished work I was like mm -hmm, my jump lessons today my jump lessons today Ooh. I'm also panicking about like tack like she's not getting her saddles um checked until next week so i'm like i really hope her saddles are fitting okay um she's just in her snaffle because i've been riding in her snaffle and she's been going well in that but if when the jumps come out that won't be strong enough maybe i don't know it's just a lot to think about which bridle which bit which ugh, mm, overthinking overthinking so yeah i'm just gonna have her in what she's been in for the last few months and just hope that we take it from there and yeah hopefully we make it out alive sorry for rambling on just a tiny little bit of background in case you're new here um our last jump was at talent yeah it actually was it was at talent uh, we just popped a few cross poles there um and before that, our last jump was at Blair Athol and she stopped three times in a row and we got disqualified. 
So yeah, I've literally done nothing and that is where we left off, just kind of like at the end of the season, things weren't going very well. And then she had six weeks off and I've been bringing her back into work very, very slowly. Um, and here we are, here we go. All hitched up. So it's becoming real now. Um, luckily I don't have too much anxiety about um, other things like traveling or loading or um, yeah, like it literally just says the jump time because we've been going out and about to the local indoor for schooling. Um, I had her on a wee trip to the vets. We've been plugging away quite well. Um, it's literally, yeah, just the jumping. And luckily Claire is coming with me, thank God she is off today and is coming with me because I think just like chatting away to her and stuff will help a lot and really calm me down. I'm just kind of take my mind off of things. Hello everybody, I am here. Um, Joanna's just informed me that she has told you guys that she will feel so much better that I'm in the car because we'll just be talking rubbish. And what have we been talking about? Um, how humans have decided what the world is like and why we've chosen to work 12 hour shifts. We've been talking about how, <laughs> how basically humans own the world and rule the world. Rule the but, world. <laughs> but we, as like a species, have decided to work twelve to hour work shifts. mental shifts to and, like, pay like extortionate amounts for fuel. Do to like loads of rubbish ways. jobs we hate just yeah. to earn money. Like, Whereas like we had a choice in this. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, well, we didn't, but our ancestors did. There's dogs that just get to like chill and do whatever they want and they don't have yeah. to earn money and they have great lives it's weird generally yeah. i mean not all but dogs. they only have good lives because we earn money to give it to them i just don't really mm. understand it it's all very confusing so it's ended up going into this like weird conversation about like and it's taken my mind off of everything so that's great <laughs> we were talking about like china and russia and everything but we're so clueless yes yeah, like, we don't even know what communism is know what i have is. a history degree yeah joanna has this a history degree so joanna's bad. like to me what's communism i was like I, you should know <laughs> Googling it and it came up with communism in simple, simple words. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's oh. all very confusing. We're not just talking about communism, by the way. We're talking about loads of different types of things. But yeah, interesting conversation. Just Maybe the... like we should get those like history or politics for dummies or something books. Yeah. I really shouldn't have it for dumb dummies. I literally yeah, you have a degree, degree, but you didn't my hardly bad. go into uni, did you? I d I done bloody well. <laughs> she didn't go into uni. She got an email a few times saying like your attendance is concerning us. Are I... you okay? Mum and Dad don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> we are almost at Inchcoonins where Joanna's jump lesson is going to be. We are running a wee bit late. We were stuck in traffic. Yeah, no, I not think the that's um, seven minutes oh, too fast. It? So my clock oh, in my yeah. car is seven minutes too fast, so I'm never late for things. I panic less. That's so silly. Um, yeah, we're almost there, but we're not really running late then. But we are <laughs> running. Oh, look at Herbie! Later He's out the cage. Oh, the baby! Oh, he's in Stanley's cage. Um, yeah, so we aren't really running late, but we are later than we were going to be. The traffic was quite bad, but yeah, that's, traffic was that's quite the bad. thing about having a lesson at this time because it's like five o'clock. But, um, but it's fine. You don't really want to be hanging around and thinking too much anyway. Yeah. So um, I'm really glad it's not raining actually and not windy or anything. Oh my god! It? Because same. it's outside. I am. Um, I don't know why you booked an outside lesson in February. Yeah, I know because um, the instructor that I wanted the lesson with um, hasn't had a date in Bractillo for the past like six weeks. He's usually there monthly, but I've yeah. not managed to get a date. So, um, so I had no option but to come here. Oh, it's a nice date. Like, it's nice yeah, enough anyway. Yeah, I know. Oh, I was worried about the elements. Yeah, because I would just be sitting there freezing my arse off, but it's fine. Glad you thought about me. <laughs> we have arrived. Look at Herbie. I'm like jelly, like gelatin. Are you? Are you yeah, being like ner proper nervous? I am proper nervous. Oh, bless you. I, um, it's usually me. I might have a mental breakdown. I'll try not we'll to. We'll I'll try see. not to. There's a lot of fillers in there, though. I, I, I'm I, going to tell them I just want to do crosses. <laughs> so. Get a grip. Yeah, no, I actually <laughs> this am. is the other way around. You've been telling me to proper get a grip. It's been like six months. You've never done that. You've I never have. went that long. I have when I gave Jada off the winter break. And then you done cross poles. No, I didn't. I did a wee oxer and everything. I've did got you? proof. I have proof. Joanna's having a panic attack right now. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, gloves. I just um. Joanna's apologising to the horse now for making her stressed. Even though Blondie looks very chilled out, 
she is having a panic attack. I asked you not long ago if you were nervous to jump again. You were like, nah, I feel all right, actually. Yeah, until it comes down to it. <laughs> Just breathe, relax. Yeah. What's the worst that's going to happen? Okay, so I definitely made it known to David that I was nervous. So we started off by just trotting over some poles, um, just kind of keeping our calm over some poles, and then he said to pick up Canter and do the same. So, I mean, I wouldn't say I was nervous for this, but like, I am used to her rushing poles, so I was very glad to feel that she was really listening to me and um, we felt quite controlled she had a really nice canter like really forward without feeling like she was gonna rush off with me and if you've seen our journey you can you can appreciate that she does do that quite often so we're just circling here around the black and white jump just making sure that the canter is really collected and um, which I've struggled to do for so so long so I did feel quite happy at this point actually, around all the nerves, and yet again she gets quite a nice stride to that, picks up the wrong leg after, but that's not important. She's got quite a little feisty trot here, and he's asked us to pick up canter on the other rein and do the same thing. So we're just circling again, making sure that we've got a nice canter. She bites with me a little bit there. And then that was only for a split second though and she comes right back to me. And I still can't believe that this was all in a snaffle. That, that's really impressive for Blondie. Um, you can definitely see that we're working together a lot more. And a couple of pulls there. She, she gets a little bit speedy after. Yeah. Okay, she's, she's trotting through some fillers at the moment I think. But she said the ones at the corner in the corner of the screen are too tight together, so he said just to do the other ones first then. <laughs> oh god, she's really overthinking it all. I'm glad it's not just me doing that. It's really good that he's doing that, like taking her right back and not making her just like go out of her comfort zone straight away. Sorry. Oops. Good pony. Well done. Let's just do the both once more, okay? This time start with the blue one. So you do this right turn to the uh, flags, yeah? It's really cold. <laughs> Freezing.
Okay, so here we go. First jump in five months. I was very nervous. Nice collected Kanto. And yeah, she did not rush at all. What a nice little pop. Oh, I was so happy. I was so happy with her. And she comes away nicely too, bless her. So for the next one, um, David just asked me to try and give a little bit with my hands. Um, I'm so not used to having this control. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm holding on too tight, but it was just difficult to find a balance between holding her and um, actually giving her a bit of room over the jump as well and letting her be. So they're currently chatting, but they're at the other side of the arena and I can't hear them, but um, my hands are so cold. I feel like they're gonna fall off. It's so cold just like sitting here. But Joanna's smashing it. I know she's mega nervous. Like she's absolutely pooping her pants. And you can see that in her riding that she's like nervous, but um, Blondie seems mega keen, which is class. I'm so glad, I feel relief. The instructors just said, what I've made out is a uh, try not to worry so much. Okay, so we had been doing fabulous. Um, I was really, really happy um, at this point. And I just kind of let myself down a little bit. I um, We had a nice canter up this long side. We turned, she saw the jump. She ran into it, as you can tell. And I just done my thing where I just sat there and done nothing, hoping for the best. <laughs> so you couldn't hear me anyway, but when she done that, I just, pause and was like SOS. I literally shouted SOS. Um, but David told me exactly what I'd done wrong. He could, he, for me it felt like a dirty stop but he said he could see it from a mile away. Um, I let her rush into it and let go of her just hoping that she would do it and my leg came off. So as you can see the second time she jumped it around really nicely and again just focusing and lovely again. It's just difficult for me having to really think about what I'm doing because for so long I just let her get on with it and lovely there again bless her it's so nice her still having that big jump which I love about her um but just us working together and getting that control back so again she almost rushes into that one but I just hold her hand Make sure she's still listening and she went over it nicely. And yeah, it's just finding that balance of giving her the rein, but also having a say in our speed and our stride. And bless, she looks so cute going over that wee ox are. Oh. So this little jump actually has a water tray under it. Um, and Blondie decided she'd have a little look. <laughs> but bless her. She did not stop, which made me very, very happy. Um, because the last thing you want to do is start overthinking about fillers and everything, um, which I had been doing. But, yeah, David thinks that I hadn't, didn't focus as well on that jump because I was thinking about the water tray. But I think Blondie would have looked at it either way. Um, she, does, she does have a little spook in her sometimes. So we picked up the canter here, but we were on the wrong leg, quite messy, so I had to come back to trot and circle around 
because the last thing you want is to have a bad approach up to your jump hook. So yeah, I, I definitely think my confidence was coming back at this point, like, to be able to jump little water trays and everything, your first jump back is, is quite good, even though it's only like 55 or 60 centimetres or something. Oh, bless. Certainly back to basics. And I think, yeah, this is our last jump. We just finished going over the jump that she stopped at. And bless her, you can see that she's very keen. That's us home and it's pitch black. I have not been out and about in the pitch black in so, so long. Oh, the best girl. Oh, the best girl. Is that nice? Is that nice? <laughs> Hello again, um, different day, it's been a little while since my jumping lesson now but I realised that I forgot to give you all a conclusion, tell you how I was feeling um, and I can honestly say I was feeling so happy after that lesson, it was so good to actually just get out jumping um, and stop overthinking it and just kind of like get on with it. Um, as much as I didn't want her to stop and I kind of wanted us to come back and be like Oh, okay, everything's totally fine and we're brave again and the time off's been perfect and everything's okay. Um, it was quite good that she stopped really because I've got an instructor there and we need to figure out how it worked through, through these problems. Um, I've been really, really struggling knowing what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I'm totally relearning to ride again. Um, I've always just put so, so much faith in Blondie um, and her braveness bless her she's always just taken me wherever I wanted to go um that now that I need to hold her hand as well um, I'm struggling to know exactly what I should be doing and and how to ride her to the best of my ability um so it's a lot there's so much going through my brain every ride now um it's it's a lot to think about but um David thinks it's nothing that's too serious and we will come back stronger than ever hopefully because um I'll have all these new controls and like we'll be able to actually work together rather than just me rely on her which I have done for such a long time but yeah um I think the most amazing thing is how much more control I have now and you can see that we're working together a lot more than we used to um I mean when I first got her she just flew everywhere and I just sat there and just let it happen Um, I'll insert a clip here and yeah as you can see it's just a bit mental I mean she'd always do it but now she's lost a bit of confidence I really need to help her out now and yeah I, I'm just relearning everything it's a lot and I do feel quite disappointed that we're like almost back to the beginning but really look how far we've came like in comparison the way of going is a lot better even if she has the odd stop nowadays and what David said to me that really stuck in my mind is you get all these ponies and Blondie was one of them that would zoom around the course hi Stanny um and win a class no problem go over everything but you would look a mess and you'd have no control it's not really the safest and yeah that was us whereas you get all these horse rider com horse and rider combinations that produce this beautiful round and um, have like such a lovely connection can maybe get the odd pole but yeah the ho the overall horse and rider connection is just a billion times better nicer safer um and yeah that is the goal that is where we're going to be and I definitely see a huge difference in a lot of ways but yeah it just it does feel weird feeling like you're kind of almost back to square one um my confidence is up a lot from that lesson um we had another lesson and I'm gonna get them two weekly until I feel like I can train by myself every so often and have David's voice in the back of my head and like know what to do when we go wrong 
Um, but yeah, it, it's good house stopping in these lessons because we need to learn um, what to do when these things happen. And um, yeah, I do think we will come back a lot stronger from it. But yeah, guys, I know that probably wasn't the most exciting vlog, um, but if you ever have had like a big confidence knock, you'll know how I feel. Um, if you've ever felt like your trainings kind of went backwards, you'll know how I feel. And um, yeah, hopefully a lot of you can relate with me. And maybe if you've came back from that and felt like amazing after, you can leave me a wee comment and make me feel better about life. <laughs> Um, because I do feel disappointed sometimes that, like, this has all happened, but, yeah, it's just the way life goes, and, yeah, everything can't always be sunshine and rainbows, and to be honest, now I look back at it, it never was, um, I just fortunately had an incredible pony, I still do, but, um, yeah, learning a lot right now, a lot. But yeah, thank you so much for watching anyway. Um, the next vlog is going to be Claire's hunt. So as you can see, we have totally switched places. Claire's away hunting, feeling brave. Stop, stop eating my hands. Um, and I'm jumping 60 centimetres. <laughs> so yeah, um, thanks so much for watching and hopefully you tune into that one and we will see you later. Bye.